Hi, Sam Tobis, Sam No Joy Music Services. And we're coming with another courting session, courting testimony songs, which use the one and the four pattern. Now, the song we're going to use is I'm a Soldier in the Army of the Lord, and we're going to be in the key of A flat. Now, I've got a, a drum pattern that I already set up to use to demonstrate, but I'm going to give you the what I call bass chords that you would use for the 1-4 pattern for a Pentecostal style testimony service. Let's get right to it. So we're in the key of A flat. Scales are important. Not just for the right hand, but for the left hand also. And for the left hand, we're going to be doing something a little different. So I want you to practice doing scales in octaves for the left hand. And you'll see why. Now, the 1-4 pattern that's used in the uh, congregational style singing can be either a 7th chord, a minor 7th chord, on both ends or major seventh chord. It de again, it depends upon the song. But what we're going to use, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord, and you're at the mercy of the person in front of the mic, as always, setting the tempo, and of course the drummer, if he's paying attention. So depending upon where they're going to be in the arm, if they give you that B major which is the minor for the A flat scale. If they give you that minor uh, melody, then that's the melody you're gonna be in. If they go, if they give you the C, now you're in a seventh, not a, uh, in a um, uh, pentatonic scale or in a major, major six chord. Is there a time when you can go both ways? Dependent upon how it's being sung. Congregational song usually means somebody's leading out. And the congregation will follow the lead vocal. So if they start... You would think they would go that way. Or they may go... I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. So be prepared to be able to go both ways, so to speak chord wise major seven major six or the minor six now i always say practice your chording uh what i call chords practice scales not just the major but the minor but also the minor, because you're gonna be able to borrow from both of those chord sets. I'm a soldier. Here we are in the sixth, seventh, with, a, with, a, uh, with an A flat seventh. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. This is just generic chords. That's the one, now the four. And as you can see, we're in the minor six. I wanted the Cordy app to see when I take off the hands, you'll see major six, minor six. Just one note change. But it changes the whole tone of the song when you change keys. When you change the bass with one note change. So I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Come out, come out of that in the R. Uh, again, here we go, still in the minor. Minor. Right? Minor, D, D, B minor if you remove all the other chords. But then it sounds kind of um, empty. Resolve to an E flat seventh. Right? And back to that sixth chord. But this happens in rapid time. In other words, you don't have time to plan it. 
it has to almost happen. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. Now, most times you won't be playing full chords, so you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're going to space your chords. Now that is the kind of patterns that I like to use once the song gets started. And uh, again, let me give you some more of those chords. So you got the bass ones. The one, the four. Now for those who like to count, this would be the minor three, right? The two, and back to the one. For those who like the chord method I, i'll kind of talk to it in that sense because if you got if you got a bass player with you you want them to know you're going to go from here now you're on that five but you're playing a, a g flat there to give you a different a different a take on which direction you want to go now some can do that also i like doing this one and then I will jump up there. This is where the bounce can can greatly give your hands the ability to rest. Slow that down. I said your left hand is going to be active in these type of songs. So let's put a rhythm there. I want to slow the rhythm down so that it's not quite that fast. Let's take it down to, for a practice standpoint, down to 91. We're down to 91. Very basic. Have a bass player. Down the scale. This one up to four, two, five, one. many so many variations you can take and back in my day I was using all of them depending upon how long the song went so you saw some some examples of how you can bounce how you can play f uh, uh, block chords uh, do you always want to be following what the playing rather what the lead is doing sometimes you want to if the lead is getting tired because this type of song requires 100% energy from the lead. So if the lead should ever drop out or you, you can hear begin to falter, 
Now I'm a soldier. You can give that note to her. You can go up there, depend upon if you see them begin to falter, unless someone takes the mic, or usually in the old testimony song, you have three or four leaders on this song giving each other a break. But music-wise, you don't have a break, as you can see, constant movement. When you get tired, you bounce. Bum, bum, bum. Pause. And of course, if you have a, don't have a bass player, run this bass pattern. For those who don't play, who don't play jazz. I like playing jazz bass, so I may just, when I was doing it, I went everywhere. I must. That, that uh, Brooklyn sound. Now let me put a little pattern with that so you can understand. The Brooklyn sound, because I'm, I'm, I'm from the East Coast. The New York area, Brooklyn love to go miners. Get the drummer. given you let me just stop this I've given you um, practice tempo when you're in a church and it's this is sung as a lively song we're up at we're doing tempo 91 now usually it's going to be at about 130 let's see what 130 is going to give us that's a little fast Go down to 120. So you're going to be you're going to be tested. So you want to go and work on your runs. Uh, da -da. Try and think of an easy one. Nope, that's an easy one. Just right there. So you're within that range. And the, of course, the... Have fun with it, number one. 
understand where you are working from. Oh, you can do that. There it is. As long as you understand it's a one and everything you can do in the one, and when you get down to the four, two, five, one. All right, that should get you going. I gave you a, a whole myriad of chords, not just in the major, but in the minor. I did a couple of walk ups. Um, no, I didn't give you the walk ups, actually. <laughs> That's just a walk up. Let's see. With a pattern. This one. All right, that should get you enough to get you into the song and through it. Take care.